What's up, Brew Bros? I'm Jeff. I'm Steven. And today we're going to show you how to make an electric hot liquor tank. That's right. So we're going to show you the whole process of making it. We're going to test it out, and we'd like to use it on a three-tier system that we plan on using on a future brew, which is going to be a milk stout. All right, so here's just about everything we need. So the first and most important thing we have is an electric uh, water heating element right here. This is uh, 1,500 watts, 120 volts. So you're just going to put your uh, hot and your neutral onto these two terminals here. And that's why we have an extension cord over here, which is just going to plug into our regular wall outlet, and we're going to wire up those two connections. And then we're going to have a third connection for a ground. We'll talk about that later. Uh, remember, when you're working with this electric stuff and water, they don't mix. So we're going to try to mention safety here. If you're afraid to do it, don't do it. Uh, you're going to need a drill. The drill is going to go with these hole saws here. Uh, one hole saw is for the kettle valve, and then the other one is for the uh, electric water heating element. Uh, then lastly, we have a uh, nut that screws onto the element, and that's going to go on the inside. Um, and then the outside, we're going to have these two connection points go into our cable. And all this stuff is going to get thrown into this igloo cooler. Uh, once we put it all in there, we're going to put some 100% silicone sealant on there. So notice how it says weatherproof, it says waterproof. Um, <clears throat> you just want to make sure whatever you get is waterproof uh, because it's going to be sitting in water. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start drilling the hole for the weldless bulkhead fitting for the valve right here. So to do that... Whoa, bro! We only got 10 days! Wow, man, we better drink it! Let's go! Woo! So what we're drinking is Stone Enjoyed by 1225 2015 IPA. And they only make they make one a month usually. Mm. And they usually try to keep it towards the holiday. So this month it's Christmas. Last month it was Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. 9.4% alcohol. Ooh. But um, the hops are delicious in this. I, I'm really loving this one already. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't uh, taste like almost 10% alcohol. <laughs> no, no. It's pretty smooth. Of course, a little bit of hot bitterness to it, mm -hmm. kind of resin, resiny, piney, some grapefruit kind of citrus aromas to it. The uh, the Enjoy By series is is pretty cool. They only make it for a certain period in that month, and they purposely make it so it expires by whatever point in that month that they want it to be done by, and they're all delicious yeah so i know like distribution is a key to get this out fast enough so people could buy it like uh this was bottled on 11 19 15 uh i think i bought it like a week after it said it was bottled on so that's pretty impressive uh and of course you got to drink it you know within the month that it was bottled on so. so i actually just noticed that we actually need one less tool so right here i just removed the little water valve that used to be there um this guy actually fits right in there so it must be a 7 8 inch hole so really all you got to do is uh, put this in there, okay, try to hold that, and uh, on the inside you should be able to see the threads there, so all you got to do is put on the nut, which I'm holding in my other hand, thread it on there, okay, see how I threaded that on there, and uh, of course you'll have to go in there and tighten it. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how far up this valve is so we could try to put the uh, electric heating element close to the same height. If you put it too low, you're going to be going into the base of the exact opposite side, which is about here. I'm going to mark this one at uh, two and a half inches. And this right here is going to be my drilling hole. Alright, so let's drill this hole. So you may have noticed I was doing a slight modification. Uh, that's because when we drilled into it, I noticed there's this outer plastic shell, there's a foam insulation in here, then there's an inner uh, plastic shell. And we have to actually cut out more of the outer shell 
So we could slide this thing all the way in there because we want these threads and this little gasket here to be butted up against the inside plastic shell so we could put our silicone there and get a nice good seal on there. Alright, so we're going to start working with some electricity now. So it's always very important that you make sure you take some... Bear up! Bear up! Alright, so now we're going to do the electrical portion of things. So it's very important to be extra safe, of course. Um, it's really simple to wire up though. So as you can see, there's two terminals on here. It doesn't matter which one's your hot or your neutral, it's AC, so you could flip-flop it anyway. The important one is that third wire. So that third prong that goes to your outlet, that should be your ground wire. So usually it's a green wire. I like to double check and put a meter on it and check continuity from your third prong to your green wire. Um, but let's uh, wire this up right now. First thing we're going to do is wire up uh, one of these white wires to this terminal and then the other one to this terminal. So you may have noticed that we didn't put that third wire on. doesn't mean it's not important. It's actually one of the most important connections. This is your ground connection, and I'm going to just solder it right to this metal enclosure right here. Um, so the ground's going to be there in case there's any electrical short inside of this unit, or if uh, somehow you're getting electrocuted because something malfunctions. We're going to connect the other side of this, which is this right here. We're going to make sure it always goes to a GFCI circuit. So that's a ground fault circuit interrupter. So if anything shorts out in here, it's going to cut off the power supply so nobody gets hurt. So always be uh, careful with that and ensure that you do this part properly. Alright, so as you can see, we got a nice solder job going on there for our ground. So we're just going to jam this guy in here. Alright, so we got this thing in there pretty tight. So I'm just going to do a continuity check because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a bunch of silicone in there to kind of seal everything up. So if I tap these two together, that's a short. So we want our ground prong on here to be going to the inside nut or anywhere on the element really. It's all metal. So that would show that everything's grounded. It's silicone time. Be generous. Bro, this thing says wait 24 hours. What are we gonna do till then? Oh shit, it's dry! So we're back after 24 hours. We touched all the little silicone on there, and it's dry. Filled it up about a quarter of the way, made sure there's no leaks on the valve, made sure there's no leaks on the back where the heating element was. We just filled it all the way up with 130 degree water, so that's as hot as the tap water goes. So I say we plug it in. Uh, you may notice that we brought it upstairs because there's a GFCI circuit here. So if anything is shorted out, this will trip out right away so we don't get zapped. So surprisingly enough, that electric hot liquor tank worked and we didn't get zapped, which is always a good thing. So it went from 130 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be a great sparge water temperature, in only 15 minutes. So we'll be sure to use that on our next brew. Yeah, we will. Mm -hmm. But what were your feels on the stone Enjoy by 1225? That was really good. Yeah, that was the first time I ever had one of these Enjoy by, you know, within this month or whatever. I thought it was a good, you know, fresh hoppy flavor, uh, really nice IPA. I would give it overall an 8. Mm -hmm. This was a delicious IPA. Hops were a delightful, tasty treat. I'm going to give it an 8.5. So, official Brew Bros rating, 8.25. So, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Till next time. Yeah.